Okay, now we're live here. Uh, Jay Owens, uh, City Engineer, City of Red Wing, uh, bridge, uh, Red Wing Bridge Update, here with Mark Anderson, the Project Manager, and we got a few things to talk about from November, uh, a milestone month for us, and then I'd like to get into talking about where we're at next year, because there's still a lot of work to do, and, and, Definitely. and what kind of impacts we're going to see to traffic as we're trying to finish this project off in 2020, and maybe go over um, some of the work that's happening uh, that you'll see over the winter here with the bridge removal and so forth. So I'll let you start on that a little bit. Maybe start with the, the stuff in, uh, with the removals first here. Okay, so currently the contractor is out there um, saw cutting and removing the old um, parapet, the old railing on the bridge. As they progress with that, they will get into removal of the concrete deck. Once that's gone, they'll start uh, removing the, the trusses, probably starting with the the center span or the river span mid mid January I believe is their target date right now so it's mid January for the actual they'll set that middle span down on the barges is they'll that start the working operation on it. yeah okay they have the strand jacks coming um, supposed to be delivered January 13th so. okay so with the parapet cutting that's going on right now um, is there catchment set up underneath that or is yep, that there is there's a box underneath that catches any small debris that falls but so nothing going into the river definitely nothing. not or onto the ground below and it'll be the same thing they'll have to set up a containment when they start actually doing deck removal as well right take yep. that kind of, so they haven't actually started saw cutting the deck yet they have started saw cutting, they have, but they have not removed any yet no hammering or removing mm -hmm. anything out yet. nope okay Okay, where's all that um, removal debris going to then? Um, it's going to uh, a pit in Wisconsin to be recycled. Okay, so um, are they running into any unknowns as they're getting into that? Did I hear this morning there might be some asbestos that they're looking at? There are possibly some asbestos samples in the, the area where the f um, concrete deck and the floor beams meet. So they're looking at possibly 24 sleeves of uh, asbestos pipe sleeves basically, or asbestos coated pipe sleeves. Okay. And then that gets tested and dealt with appropriately. Yeah, that'll right? get removed and sent off to a, a hazardous waste landfill. Okay, good. Um, then with the, uh, you, you said in January they'll actually start, we'll actually see bigger pieces being removed of, you know, getting set up. Yeah, they'll start the getting center, set up for it. Center right. span. So when that drops, you'll kind of, you'll get to see what will be left standing is just the uh, the part of the bridge over both piers, right? Pier one and pier two. Well, I think they're gonna. There's uh, some pins where the old piece was lifted up, and I, I think it's there's gonna be some cantilevered sections hang still hanging out from still the piers. Still out there. Yep. I think if you go out there and look at the, there's some pier pins where that section was picked up when they set it the last time. So I okay. think they'll cut it right there and drop it. Okay. And then uh, something I'd like to throw out there that uh, I, I've been kind of working with the uh, Goodyear County Historical Society. I've got some bridge plates from uh, both the bridge over 61 and the, uh, and the main river bridge, the Eisenhower Bridge. And then also we met with the contractor, talked about saving some pieces of maybe a gusset plate with some of the, the member there that we're going to bring to the uh, museum. So we got that kind of lined up to make sure we get a few pieces of uh, a bridge there. Also, I've been getting calls, and I'm directing them right to the contractor um, from some people who had worked on that originally, uh, or had relatives working on the bridge um, back in the 50s and 60s there, and would like a, a rivet or a bolt or something like that. So we just kind of let the contractor deal with that, correct? Sure. Yep, yeah. that would be fine. That's that's the way that goes. So interesting. People want a piece of memorabilia there from the Eisenhower Bridge and can understand that so mm -hmm. good um, so what uh, time frame wise where are we thinking we would see kind of uh, the, the bridge completely removed and I imagine then they got to work on the piers to, to get those removed out. right yep and they're expecting midsummer before they're completely done with removal okay and that's getting the piers hammered down into the right. appropriate elevation below, mm -hmm. the, below the water and then also of course all the piers that are on the Wisconsin side need right. to be removed as well so yep Okay. All right. Um, Mark, you want to uh, may maybe should we show a few pictures and we can talk about uh, next year's sure. kind of work as well? So I really don't have too many. Um, this is kind of just a picture of the button hook as it's um, open now and a picture of the saws are working on the 
um, the railing or the parapet as it hangs over the edge of the deck. What, so what's the, where you see the pink markings on there, are they, do they saw cut in sections like that? Is that what they're yeah, marking up? Yeah, that's what they'll do, yep, so they can be lifted off. Okay. And just uh, another picture of the deck as it's as you're getting ready to work out there. And um, you can see in the middle there, that's one of the expansion joints, and they've sealed that off so there could be no material escape through there. Oh, okay, because that would drop right straight to the straight yeah, to the river then over there. that expansion. Yep. And that's a picture from today where some of the parapet railings have been removed and they have the uh, the safety railing in place for the employees, for the workers. So, and it's up to the contractors doing all snow removal up there, correct? correct. And keeping their work site open to, to be able to get in and out and so forth. So as you can see right there, I'm, I'm looking for a piece uh, similar to that of the Eisenhower Bridge, the blue um, piece there to, to kind of mount up at the historic museum. So that'll be be placed up there by a Ryan, correct me, the 1895 bridge was the was the original river crossing. We've got we've got a piece of that railing up there um, that we we'd like to put a piece of the Eisenhower Bridge next to. So along with the bridge plates that we've that we've got now too. Yeah, that's really the last picture I had. All right. Well, Mark, I got a um, Let's talk a little bit about in November here with the with the opening of the, the the river crossing and the opening of the slip ramp. Um, what have you guys been noticing? What is as far as traffic and things? Any issues that have come up that that you're seeing out there right now? Mm, I guess I haven't noticed any, but I I've kind of been on vacation so, <laughs> since the opening, since so the opening, I didn't yeah. see too much of anything yeah. there. So I don't know if you've had any concerns or complaints from citizens. I I haven't. I've, I mean, I think. Um, you know, we're, I'm kind of wa watching a little bit myself, trying to see where traffic's going. But you know, the majority of the traffic is using the button hook, and, and as we expected, there's uh, there is a small amount of traffic that's still coming down the slip ramp, so it is dividing up a little bit. But I still think the majority, of course, is on on the button hook, um, coming into coming into Red Wing anyway. Um, we do have a few things that we want to work with the traffic office on, as far as how the intersection signal functions at. Uh, plum and um, plum and 61 so okay so we're, we talked about that this morning a little bit with the the protected left turn signal and then uh, in a possible right turn lane so what about anyone else here we got a couple in the audience noticing anything with the with the opening with traffic different uh, not really. no not really so good I think it was it was good to mark that opening with a ribbon cutting and and uh, and get that uh, get traffic moved over so they could get going on removals and um, once the weather turns uh, nice again, what are we gonna what are we looking at for construction? What do we have to, to finish off? Well, there's still quite a bit of work on the, the new bridge to finish. So there's still painting of the the concrete out there. There's painting of the steel top graders. They get two coats of paint. You'll see a white coat first and then a, a final a finished coat. Um, the ornamental railing needs to go up on the bridge still. Um, and they need to complete work on the spires, along with, I believe, there's still a lot of the uh, deck false work that's being removed while they're during the winter. Okay. So there's a lot of work out there. A lot of work on the bridge itself. Yep. Um, and then uh, still a lot of work on the Wisconsin side with the uh, jug handle, correct? To correct. Get that intersection yep. going. When do the, it's under surcharge now. When are they expecting they can take the surcharge and actually build road? It should be right away in the spring. It should have been on long enough at that point. They okay. can start working on it. But you are monitoring the settlement on those just yep. like you did on the approach work and, okay. All the, the culvert work is all complete? For the most part, the box culvert's complete, yeah. but the, sh the shoulders need to be, um, cleaned up, I guess, would be the best way to say it. And I think there's some um, sheeting on that down river side that needs to be cleaned up and removed in that. Okay. Okay. And then on the Minnesota side, of course, uh, we have uh, some more water main to finish up behind Red Wing Shoe. We've got to push that water main across toward ADM and then hook into the new water main down near Potter Street. So we've got a fair amount of utility work. Um, that goes in conjunction with the work on 61 because you've got more road to build on 61, correct? correct? Right. Yep, we do. And then to, even once we're done with the road building, we, I think we have some mill and overlay work to do on 
from the button hook to the south there. Okay. A lot of that needs to be cleaned up and redone, along with the concrete meeting needs to be filled in there. Yeah, the concrete meeting never did get filled in, so oh. there's more concrete work right. on the button hook to yeah. do. And then there'll be some cleanup work. Well, I'm thinking actually on 61, but there is some work on the button hook as well that needs to be cleaned up. I think you've got it where the uh, where the old temp bridge fed into the button hook. Right, that's that curb and gutter has got to be put in and all that established right. and basically finish that up. And so removal of the temp bridge. The removal of the temp bridge. Um, will that be done over the winter or does that wait until, are, there, are they just concentrating on I, the main river They're crossing? concentrating on the river bridge because they need to get that out before the shipping season starts. Okay. Okay, and then of course, uh, following all that up, we've got a lot of landscaping and all the all of that to be done in, right. in the butt, in the middle of the button hook around the sides, trees planted, mm -hmm. um, turf established, all that work. Right. As yep. well. So, be a still be a busy summer. It's busy. Yeah. So, what are just kind of looking at it? Are you? I mean, it's going to be pretty much the whole summer, correct? With construction. I mean, correct. Yeah. I mean, the completion date right now is, I believe, August twentieth of twenty twenty. So. Okay. Should be a full summer. I feel they, they'll need probably all of that. To, I would think to get so. Done. Yep. So traffic impact wise, talking about 61, um, we're going to, there'll be, uh, you know, with the work that's going on there and getting that water main across, there'll be traffic uh, impacts where we're one lane in each direction again, correct? I believe so, right. I'm, yeah. I'm not really up to speed on uh, everything for next year on yet. the next so. staging plan, but okay. Right. And we'll get more into that. We're going to be having a utility meeting here this winter to get mm -hmm. geared up uh, with uh, the contractor as far as getting the city utilities done and finished off and um, that'll be probably in March or something like that so um, anything else you want to add about uh, upcoming work or really shouldn't see any any um, traffic impacts uh, through the winter here until we start road building again no correct? we shouldn't make any traffic changes this winter okay all right with that what about questions any questions from the audience here we got Nancy yeah, you just raised a question for me yep. when you get ready to take down that temp bridge across 61 um, are you going to probably be doing that again at night like when you put it up will there be nighttime work do you anticipate or I think there'll be some daytime but if there's any kind of traffic impacts it'll probably be at night when they're removing the beams and that yeah, and when you say traffic impacts uh, the question was about will there be nighttime work with the removal of the temp bridge and a it's a good question. Um, if it's just single lane impacts, they they would just do it they during just, the day. Right. But what they like for the nighttime is where they can do a full closure, and the traffic volume is so low that they can close it for a certain period of time and and move, remove something and not have traffic at all going mm -hmm. underneath the bridge. Right. So more than likely, we'll get that request and we'll make sure. I think we did a pretty good job of notifying the neighborhood before of that work and we'll do that again. Um, and I'm assuming it'll probably just when they lift the beams off and probably when they uh, remove the, there's a center pier there, right? Center, yep. The center pier. The center pier, okay. Yep. But we'll have to wait for the contractor's plan to see what they plan They'll to do. They'll put the plan together and then request that nighttime work. Right. And then we'll get that advertised as well. So good question though. Any questions from anyone else? We got Brian in the audience, Brian Peterson. Last few weeks with the city, so <laughs> nothing, Brian. Nothing. <laughs> no questions. Yeah, uh, Brian Peterson's retiring, and uh, he was uh, worked on this project from the very start. Him and I sat in uh, the first meeting talking about uh, talking about the importance of the uh, of the river bridge and the crossing. And Brian had all the data on on uh, the impact of our economy and the number of workers. So. Appreciate Brian's work on this project. We've had a lot of people work on this project all the way through the last 10 years. So we're getting toward the end. 2020, have it all wrapped up and have a 100-year bridge in place. So, all right. Um, oh, let's mention, should we take off? Um, and uh, We're not gonna have a meeting, or not gonna have this meeting in January, February. Plan to come back in March, Does that sound good? I mean, let's maybe play the March one by year, see what the okay. what their schedule is, see how the weather's. See how the behaving. weather is. All right, for sure no, nothing in January, February, um, and then we'll advertise for March if we're gonna stay on with that one. Yep. If not, we'll, we'll push that out a little bit too, so. All right, with that, thanks for coming.